Hello and welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. In this quick video I would like to give you a hint about the maintenance of the used vehicles which some of them are four cylinders and some of them are V6s. When these vehicles are getting older they might start having a problems and I would like to show you the difference in maintaining V6 and 4 cylinder. On the left we are looking at 2002 Lexus ES300. This one is in beautiful shape inside. I can believe how the interior is holding up beautifully. But it has a problem. There is a misfire on the cylinder number 5 and 6. Well, on this V6 engine which has a model code 1MZFE it doesn't mean any good news let me show you so it's a V6 engine I will really quickly move around and what do you see here these are cylinders 2, 4, 6 so what is such a big deal right what will be the problem well do you see anywhere 1, 3 and 5 cylinders do you see the coils and access to them and it's not just because we are missing a light even if I give you the light you can start seeing the problem in order to get to these coils like here 246 to the 135 there has to be a lot of stuff removed this entire intake and the entire intake manifold has to go to gain access, similar access to the coils and the spark plugs. Here, here is the point. If you remove this plastic cover on this four cylinder engine, the coils and spark plugs are right underneath it. You can remove all of it in like 10 minutes. And on this engine, if you have a misfire on those two cylinders, if you replace the spark plugs, the misfire is still there. You can easily continue the diagnosis with moving the coils between the cylinders and see if there is a problem actually within the coils. And there you start seeing the problem on this vehicle. Don't you? I will replace the spark plugs. It will take hours to take everything apart, put the new plugs in the back, put them in the front, put all together, start it up and go for a test drive. What if you have back code misfire down there in the back? Well, the same long labor, same long time, is to get to the back to it. And you might say, hey, well, why you don't leave the intake and all of this removed and start the engine and run it and keep switching the course? Well, that's impossible. You can't run this engine without that complete intake manifold. That will not work. So do you see where I'm heading? There could be astronomical differences between maintenance, repair and diagnosis of older four-cylinder vehicle and V6 vehicle. But this is just between these two. If it was V6 Tacoma, access to the spark plugs is actually pretty fast and that won't be a problem. So, bottom line. If you buying older vehicle with higher miles, please make sure you open the hood and you think ahead how much will cost you to maintaining that car. Not just the money, also your nerves. Imagine you will be trying to do this job by yourself. It's definitely not easy. You even have to go first underneath the car there are three supporting brackets which are support, supporting that intake manifold. 
you first need to unscrew these and then you can start tearing apart the whole top because there's no way to reach over from the top so these are uh, little things which we really need to always consider when we buying something like that i hope you find this helpful and make sure you are subscribed i have way more coming your way soon see you later my friend